Ryan Little. <laughs> First room, second, I thought this was only two bedroom and it's like three, but whatever, and here's the third room, closet, another bathroom hiding back there. kitchen. This apartment is beautiful and I will be linking it. Hey guys, just wanted to come on camera and show my face. So I wasn't going to talk about it, but I'm still upset, so I'm going to talk about it. So basically my bag is not here with me, as in my suitcase. It somehow got left in Miami. It was never loaded onto the plane in San Jose. So I don't have any of my clothes, nothing. I have my shoes, but I have none of my clothes. And I had a tour um, today for when I was supposed to arrive. I was gonna get here, change, and then go to the tour. Obviously I couldn't do that. So now I have to try to get a refund through Airbnb. And it sucks because I only have tonight and then the morning in San Jose before I go to the other parts of Costa Rica. So a night, basically a whole day was wasted. Um, the line in immigration was over two hours long. And then I finally got to, out of immigration, went to go get my luggage, and they're like, oh, where is it? I'm like, I can't find it. So then they track it, and they're like, it's not here. It's, it never made it to Costa Rica. It's in the bag service office in Miami. I'm like, oh my God, this has never happened where my luggage didn't make it, so this is something new. But the good news is I just uh, checked my bag and it, they did put it on the last flight to San Jose from Miami. So they'll be delivering it to me tonight, hopefully. I think I'll get it tonight, but um, yeah. So that's what's going on. After I get my luggage, I'm gonna get dressed and go get dinner since I couldn't do the tour that would have included dinner. But yeah, I'm just trying my hardest to stay positive. I don't want my trip to be completely ruined. And yeah, I'll be back when I get my bag. Is that my luggage? Mi equipaje? She's finally here. They were gonna try to drop it off in the morning, but I was like, no, I need my stuff tonight. So I pulled up at the airport and got my luggage, got my baby back. I'm so happy. Again, I've never had this happen where 
my luggage somehow didn't make it onto my second flight, but it's whatever. I got it. I got all my stuff and I'm just so happy. Now I can continue on with my trip here in Costa Rica. Hey guys, just wanted to come back on camera. I'm about to take myself out to dinner since I couldn't go on my tour, which I really wanted to go on. I'm just gonna take myself out to dinner because I don't wanna waste the night. And as you can see, I have my clothes on. I did get my suitcase back, which I will show you guys in the video, me getting my suitcase back. But I have all of my stuff and I'm so happy now. I can go on with my trip. I don't have to worry or stress or cry because I was crying earlier, but I'm happy now. Finally gonna get some food and then I will probably see you guys in the morning. I have a tour in the morning and then I'm gonna head to La Fortuna. So I will see you guys. Here is my food, my fish, my plantain, rice, and beans. Let's see if I can say it in Spanish. Pescado frito, arroz, habichuelas, and patagones. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. And then just some basic lemonade for my drink. So this is what I'll be eating, a well-deserved meal after the crazy day that I've had. I will see you guys in the morning. Hi guys, good morning, buenos dias. I am headed to a little tour slash photo shoot this morning. Still upset about not getting to do the tour last night, but I'm doing a different one this morning and I'm so excited. I feel amazing, I got all my stuff. Nothing was broken, nothing was stolen, all my clothes, perfume, everything was intact, my makeup, everything. So I'm happy about that. I just got up, I did my makeup, got dressed as you can see. And yeah, I'm gonna have a good day today. So I will see you guys in a little bit.
some kind of butterfly Baby, you give me a bit that I You whip up my appetite Good morning guys, it's my first full day here in La Fortuna. I am heading on a tour of all of the main attractions here in La Fortuna and I cannot wait. I've been wanting to come here for so long, so I'm really, really excited for that and I will take you guys along with me like I always do. <music> <laughs> they don't bite? No. They might use the little pinch they got. Mm -hmm. The thing that is used to cut out the leaves. But it doesn't hurt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very, yeah, it's very active, yeah. <laughs> Finally, I'm here every day. Yeah. Sometimes there are days we look at them the whole day and sleep. Wow. <laughs> no, he's excited. He's yeah. excited. Yeah, yeah. He's white. It's too like, white, white. And put it on picture. Is this picture? Or yeah, that's picture. For a minute? Okay. It would be like a nice area to swim on it. It's quite nice because you'll see a couple of fish, a pig, over there. You can go see it.
late lunch. Because I must freeze. by several different organizations. They take care of the lands, of the flora, the fauna. horseback riding that's gonna be my last thing that I do here in La Fortuna then I'll be heading to Hako so I'm gonna go get breakfast and then I'm gonna take an uber to the pickup spot to go horseback riding Poquito. Okay. here in Hako and I just wanted to do a quick tour of the Airbnb that I'm staying at. Here's the outside area as you can see. Upstairs, the pool, bar, Here's where I'll be staying, the bed. And here's the bathroom. I've already taken a shower, so that's why you'll see my stuff there. And I will link this as always. Hi guys, good morning. I'm up early, about to head to the beach here in Hako. I'm gonna hang out at the beach for about two hours and then go get something to eat. 
and then I think I'm gonna book a full body massage. I really just wanna relax. My legs are so sore from those two hikes that I did a few days ago, like super, super sore. And yeah, I really, really need a massage. So I will see you guys when I get to the beach. Hi guys, good morning. It is about 2.45 in the morning. My driver Enrique is on his way and I'm about to head to the airport and leave. These days here in Costa Rica went by so fast, but I had a good time. There were a couple challenges on this trip, but the kindness of the people here in Costa Rica definitely helped ease that uh, trouble that I had. And I will definitely be coming back. I really, really loved San Jose, La Fortuna, and Jaco here, where I'm at right now. And I'm definitely gonna come back. So I will see you guys when I get to the airport. Sorry, I'm like exhausted right now. But yeah, I will see you guys momentarily. So this guy right here is Enrique. He was my driver throughout my entire trip in Costa Rica and he was absolutely amazing. He is amazing and will drive you anywhere that you want and I highly, highly recommend him. So um, I posted a screenshot of us talking on WhatsApp and the numbers at the top. If you can't read it, I can send you his number, but he would like more clients. He told me he said it's okay to post him on here, but he was amazing. He drove me throughout the entire country. So I definitely recommend him. He's awesome. Thank you. 
inspectors for found in the immigration post and before the customs authority before going through the checkpoint.